because fishing is life. Even at a wedding, he's got to be fishing. We're here. We're at the beast. Puerto Rico, Despacito land. So uh, it's time to go rent a car and uh, get to the Airbnb so I can uh, figure out how I can convince my girlfriend to let me go fishing. Oh, fiance, my bad. All right, so we took an early flight from Miami to Puerto Rico. We finally got our rent a car and uh, I'm here with my resident Puerto Rican Giselle. Hola. Hola. There's three things I always try and eat when I come to Puerto Rico. Excuse me, wait. There's three things I always try and eat when I'm in Puerto Rico. For breakfast, I need some Mallorca. For dinner, I need some mofongo, mo, mofongo, mofongo. De, de churrasco. Where is Pinky's at? What's that place, area called? Condado. Condado? Condado. All right, and, and Condado. Turn left. Stop <laughs> talking when I'm trying to talk. There's a restaurant called Pinky's and they've got a breakfast there that I have I crave it. So every time I go, I gotta hit Pinky's and Condado Stop turn making left. noises. And then turn left. Every exit has salad places. Alright, so I'm gonna go fishing tomorrow. Got me a cheap rod here, Shakespeare, and you know, I got some supplies, a Yozuri, some DOA lures. Let's see if we can get out some fish tomorrow. I'm excited. You know you're in Puerto Rico when you got a big bad bunny billboard on the side of a wall. You know, considering that I'm Asian, my the eyes are drawn straight to the egg rolls. Sure would be nice to go fishing. All right, so we bought tickets for the ferry in Cievo to go to Calebra. That's where I was gonna fish. There's bonefish, there's snook, there's tarpon, there's all kinds of fish out there. Barracuda, I don't care what I was gonna catch. I wanted to catch some fish. There's some old army tanks that are out on the, on the beaches and stuff. So it was gonna be just really cool to be out there. But we bought tickets for a 10.30 time slot. They let anybody on who was just standing there. Even though other people bought three o'clock time slots, they let them on and told us we weren't able to go. Be careful when you go there because I don't want you guys to lose your money or just waste time basically. We were there for several hours. So if I'm lucky enough to find a spot where I can fish, I will. But there's no guarantee that I'm gonna catch anything because you know these spots are just like pull over on the side of the road. There's a beach, just check it out. That's the story behind this. So if I get a fish, I get a fish. If not, if not, it's still awesome being here in Puerto Rico. I love it here and uh, I can't wait to get some mofongo on my stomach. Now driving here, I could tell that this place was definitely ravaged by the, uh, the hurricanes. There's still a lot of damage, a lot of empty buildings. I mean, there has been, but there's some really messed up buildings here that you can just tell that it, they, you can't fix them. Got my cheap rod, got some DOAs. See what happens. Guys, I have no idea where I'm at or what I'm actually doing here. I'm trying to walk through. I got flip flops on. Now this is pretty cool. Found this little, little area here. I have no idea if there's gonna be any fish here. see down power lines from the hurricanes right through here stray dogs see your puppy see your puppy he's blind in one eye they not a Uh, we're still trying to find a spot to fish. There's a little storm rolling through and we're on the side of a road, so we're gonna pack my hip. 
<laughs> We're gonna pack it up and go. So after winding through the mountains for about 45 minutes from that last location, um, we've reached a place called Punta Tuna. And uh, the gates are closed, but the fence is down. So, you know, for an angler like me, that doesn't mean a thing. That means walk in and go fishing. Let's see if I can get over to the edge of this cliff. I don't know if I'm gonna go fishing. That's uh, like a 100, 150 yard drop. Wow. So I managed to work my way down the mountainside to this beach out here. Nobody out here. All right, so day one is over. I didn't get a fish, unfortunately. The plan was to go to Culebra and fish there. That was gonna be my time to fish. So basically, I'm just carrying a rod around the island with us, um, just testing out anywhere that there's water as we're going sightseeing and stuff. You know, let's see, maybe I'll have better luck tomorrow. Mm, this is what life is about. Coffee. Espresso out of a machine. Yes. It's good espresso too, look at that phone. Cause fishing is life, even at a wedding. It's gotta be fishing. I never thought I would be fishing at a wedding one of these This guy insists on fishing. The no CMs are out and about, feasting on my raw flesh. Let me tell you, the no CMs here in Puerto Rico are no joke. As soon as the sun starts going down, they come out with a vengeance to feast upon the flesh of the humans. But don't you look sexy? Don't you look good? Look at that butt. Look at that butt. Give me my phone. The wedding was beautiful, but they planned the wedding right next to a body of water. So you know I had to sneak the rod in to go fishing. The only problem is I'm working a lure for a more aggressive type of fish, you know, snook, tarpon, peacock bass, something of that nature. All I saw in this area were catfish coming out of the water, gulping air and going back down. So maybe I didn't catch a fish, but I still get to go zip lining tomorrow and that's gonna be fun. Check it out. So no luck with the fish yet, but I do need some action in my life. So we decided to come to Toro Verde. Boom, the monster zip line starts up there. And it goes all the way beyond that tree line down into that valley somewhere. I can't even see where it ends. I'm not able to do that one today. It was already booked up. So we are gonna hit the beast and uh, I'm gonna mount a GoPro on and just show you exactly what I get to see. All right, so we're on a trawler, we're back of the truck. Headed down. A couple of those speed bumps on the way, you know. You got the old people insurance? We're here, we're at the beast. And he's off. Hey, and we're about to head off. Here we go. Let's do it.
that was fun. All right, so we just finished the zip line, the beast over here. And uh, now we're following this trail down to go get picked up by the shuttle. It's truly an adventure. If you guys come to Puerto Rico, I suggest you try this. So Waze took us through the mountain, through it, right through the middle of a jungle. Some places it had roads, some places it was just dirt. <laughs> Look at that bridge. When lost in the mountains, you find treasures. So ziplining ended up being one of the highlights of my trip. I'm definitely going to do it again. I want to pack the kids up and take them down to Puerto Rico soon just to do that and experience, you know, just the, the, the exhilaration of flying down the mountainside, you know. But from the ziplining, we had to cut through the mountains and ways kind of took us in the wrong route. We were literally driving on ledges that had washed away during the hurricane and there was like two lane roads cut down to one lane. It was a little nerve wracking. Oh, and you know, we got a little motion sickness just weaving back and forth, but it was worth it because we got down to the other side of the mountain. We went to the south side, we went to Ponce, and I finally saw some fish. Check it out. All right, guys, so I didn't get my fish on this trip, but it was still an amazing trip. I got to see some tarpon. I now know some spots and locations after the fact that I can go fish. So best believe I'm going to book a trip down there again to take my kids on the zip lines and to go fishing. It was a long trip. I was away from my kids. It feels good to be home. And, guys, I hope you enjoyed the show. With a passion, they say I be swagging and slaying in fashion. Feel like King Arthur, I just laid a dragon. My jig on the bottom, I ain't even snagging. Stay like a savage, we're snooking the best.